Hello guys, it is me, Black Bear again, and today I'm going to be converting an old DVD player like this into a monitor for my Raspberry Pi. So, I've been tinkering with it a little bit, and as you can see, right there, there's an AV output. So that's what I'm going to be messing with. So right now, I'm going to plan on turning this upside down, and then... It lifts up, and then the screen's going to be in front, and then there's a piece of plastic covering it, and as you can see, it has the antenna, because it has an FM modulator. You can see all the circuits. Here's the main board, button board, and disk drive. So, yeah. Right now, I already unscrewed this, and I've been messing with a bunch of AV cables and stuff. So that's why my room looks so messy. And then I'll show you what the display looks like. So yeah, that's the display, and I will show you in the next clip what I'll do. All right, guys. It all right, guys. It has been an hour so far, and as you can see, uh, I've taken the display out, and the display is right here. As you can see, I just taped the driver board in since there's no screws and nice LCD 10 inch, and then as you can see. It came with this AV output cable, but I decided to use that as an AV in cable. So, I got that, and it's attached to... Where's my camera? Okay. It's attached to these breadboard wires, which I fed through one of the holes. And um, so I got two grounds. I got video, stereo, and mono. For the ground, I just shoved it into the SD card slot. I mean, shoved it under the SD card slot. Because, you know, that's a good grounding place. I might hot glue it later. But, yeah. That is what I've done so far. So, how this monitor is going to work. Is that I'm going to cover it up with the plastic that it came with. And then, the display, I can adjust it by, you know, doing this. So, that is my plan. And I've also t took in the display connector out of the hinges. That was actually pretty easy. And it's got this male connector, which attaches to this connector right here. That's This connector is the backlight. Don't even worry about that. And this is actually a driver. It has another connector that goes into the main whatever. So, yeah, that is where I am at. And I'll show you what the finished product hopefully looks like. Or if I'm doing some other stuff. By the way, for some reason, there's this problem with the AV jack that I thought I could just use one of these like adapters and stick it right in the AV jack but it doesn't work however if I use this and then shove these wires into the AV jack it works so that proves that this jack probably I mean this jack needs to be replaced I might unsolder it and just solder these breadboard wires in but that is why I'm not just using one of these because that'd be way quicker so as you know so as you know, each cable has a ground on it on the outside. So it's attached uh, through the side of the to the side of this to the other side. And then the grounding wires I just attached to an alligator clip to a ground point. So yeah, that is my very good grounding work. Yes, it's very good. Alright guys, this is me, Blackbird again, and today I actually got the thing to work. So, as you can see, my DVD player's connected through the AV cable to this, and then I just taped the display, and right now I just watched a whole movie on it, and it's connected to this 12-volt battery, that's where I get my power. So, yeah. Now, I can connect it to my Raspberry Pi, and look what we found, it's Wild Coco Cat. Coco, say hi. Yeah, she's just silly. So yeah, it's, everything's working great, and I hope you guys enjoyed my project. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and reuse old electronics.